Okay, welcome to class. This is Cabot FX, and I am Israel taking you in this class. And um, we'll be talking about the introduction to forex trading. Introduction to forex trading. Um, years ago, what really was trendy was stock trading. And I believe if you are in your 20s, you must have heard about stock trading. Your parents might have told you at one point or another that I want to buy shares for you. So that it can appreciate when you grow up. However, um, forex trading is a bit different. The one of the beauties of trading forex is actually the fact that whichever direction the market goes, you can make profits. Unlike stock market, that you have to buy low and you expect it to go high to sell it off. In forex market, you can buy low and sell high, or you can buy when it is high and sell it when it is low. This is basically because whichever direction the market goes, what matters the most is that you are saying it will go in that direction. So when you say it goes in that direction and you place your trade in that direction, if it goes alongside your own trade, then you will make profit. For example, if you are trading Great Britain pounds against US dollar, you can predict that Great Britain pounds will appreciate, which means the, the currency pair will go up. Or you can say that US dollar will appreciate, which means the current price will go down. So that is basically forex. And locally, if you have your, you you you, you can think about it that in your local currency, if you um, exchange it for or for a hard currency, you discover that sometimes you, you, I mean, of course, not sometimes, you often see that they sell it at a lower price so that. Uh, they, they buy it from you at a lower price, but when they're selling to you, they're selling it at a higher price. That price difference is what they call their gain, which is a spread. And in the same vein, your own gain too comes from predicting that, okay, at this particular time, this currency pair is at this level. When it is some time from now, it will go to another level, which I am predicting. So your gain comes from that. Um, surrounding Forex, you find currency pairs, you talk about economies. One of the major things you must understand when it comes to Forex is that you are dealing with economies. I mean, economies of nations. If you are trading US dollar, you have to be observant of what is happening in the US to know what is happening to their currency. At the same time, Great Britain pound, you must know what is happening in the UK so that you know whether the currency will appreciate or it will not appreciate. There are so many factors that really, really affect um, the appreciation or depreciation of a currency. And you need to understand those things in order to be able to trade properly. And of course, the trade comes in and then investor, you must understand the mindset of investors when it comes to economies. That is a major and vital part of forex and then you talk about the growth you must know the, what makes a nation grow if you do not know what makes a nation grow you really won't be able to make the best out of forex and then you see analysis there are different analyses you talk about the fundamental you talk about the um, sentimental the technical analysis and these analysis are very very important forex is not gambling so you don't expect to just go to the market and say okay it will go up today and then it will go up tomorrow no um, you do your trade based on the analysis you've made and then you determine where the markets will move to. And then you talk about stock brokers as um, the brokers actually will, um, they are the ones that bring it closer to you. Forex brokers, they bring it closer to you. And then looking at this now, I think we've spoken about currency pairs, you trade currency pairs and this affects a lot and all these are uh, what surrounds forex what moves the forex market this will be spoken about in later class thank you